ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got a little bit of the new Jack Swang thing going on. As soon as I can hit that play button, y'all know what I'm saying? Now, we're going to go back a little bit to the, to the, y'all know what we're talking about because we just can't stop. Kicking on me, can't stop. Can't stop what I'm feeling. Can't stop. Somebody stop that boy from feeling that way. All right, we're gonna let the wonderful sevens in our background. Play while we talk, okay? Because we're going to be kicking it on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, you see I've been doing a lot with the AI system lately. The main premise was to get it to do what it did tonight. Produce a motion. That's right. Exactly what I'm getting ready to go into court on, it produced a motion. Then when it realized what I was doing to it, it all of a sudden said, that's too many requests. Oh, I can't give legal advice. Well, there was a way to ask it to do it to where it produced a full motion. But when I kept adding to the motion, having it incorporate things in the motion, (laughs) it actually said, hey, that's not founded on actual law. Excuse me? This is a... (laughs) Anyway... Ladies and gentlemen, all I can tell you is it's a little bit of training. Now, I did get it to tell me a couple of things. Um, I even told it I was wanting to create an antivirus that had VPN capabilities, uh, anti-spyware, and anti-tracking. Now, I talked about how complex of a procedure that is. Now, let me tell you what I was doing. Okay, I asked it a question so it can point me in a particular direction. I asked it for open source antiviruses. Now, it said something about, uh, I think it was, you know what? It's, I think it's it's not Champ. I don't know the name. It's like something Champ AV or, uh, yeah, something like that. But I, I forgot which open source it is. But I will test it out, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Because like I said, I have four antivirus. Now, it did suggest... AVG, and it says AVG is part of the Advest family. That's why Advest is the one that's being updated. AVG, there is no new version since 2019. However, AVG virus definitions are being updated. So AVG is, you're happy to use it, okay? It'll work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the thing with the AI system that I've been waiting on I told you how long it takes for me to put together a motion because of the wording and everything. But if I have a motion that's already put together, all I need to do is go ahead and edit it. And then I can produce that in court. I just need the argument that I tell it I want to bring forth. And it did it in less than two pages. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm working on this week. And I'm up since one o'clock this morning. It's 3.08, and I don't want to do wrong. Okay, before 7. No, after 7? No, before 7. And I'll give you my all. That's uh, after 7. Can't stop, because I'm thinking on you, you're thinking on me. Can't stop. Oh, I feel... All right, that's enough of that. Oh, certainly that's enough of that, son. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. The reason why you see me going hard on the AI technology, as I said earlier in a video yesterday, I've been waiting for this technology. Now, remember, ChatGPT is not the only AI system out there that's free. So do yourself a favor, type in ChatGPT AI Alternative open source 
open source means you're not paying for it okay but right now chat GPT has got the most people going to it which means it's gonna learn faster now I can't continue with the system like I did before because <laughs> people like me have been using the system to manipulate it and so what they did is they've limited the amount of questions we can ask in a session so it says you've asked too many questions in a session and that's just literally random there is no there is no countdown or anything there's nothing and when it doesn't give you an answer it said in the comment section it says that it's going to uh, they've updated the system, changed it from giving you no answers. Excuse me, what do you mean, changed it from giving us no answers? The reason why it gives you no answers, ladies and gentlemen, is because that's the way it's programmed. And it keeps telling you it's an AI system and it can only do what it's programmed. That's a program statement. And it kept giving me the same response every single time. Because it didn't like what I put in about presidential proclamation. You know what I like? You know, I, I like... Come on now. The new Jack Swang thing. Y'all don't remember this? I remember this. I like. I remember this. Okay, anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, by finding out about the other GPT systems out there that will help you to complete codes for programs, codes for systems, codes that's for taking care of the things you need let me tell you something i'm working on doing exactly that but for lawful documents not legal documents lawful documents because the document i'm producing doesn't have any of that stupid code in there and it got mad when i brought up the fact that codes regulations statutes and revised statutes all of that junk are not law it, that's where it stopped <laughs> doing the motion. <laughs> it's because I brought that up. But that was only at the end. So it already completed what I needed. But when I brought that up, it says that's not based on law. Excuse me? Are you giving legal advice? So we, we will uh, talk about the motion later. I just wanted to let you know what I was able to accomplish. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. Ladies and gentlemen, no, I'm not going to cut this short. There's a couple of things. I watched a video earlier today. Um, I think it's called The People's Project or something like that. Somebody sent me the guy's video, and he played a short on how police don't know the law. And it showed an attorney questioning a police officer in a traffic court trial where the individual had been arrested on a traffic violation. And the question he did is he asked the peace officer... If he knew what the legal definition for traffic is. So hold on one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's one definition from the legal dictionary. It says traffic to do with pedestrians and vehicles moving on the road. Do you need, pay attention, a license to be a pedestrian? But a tra pedestrian travels in traffic, do they not? By virtue of regulations, by such series as Road Traffic Act says, uh, hence, the statutory reference in many outlaw transactions, liquor, drugs, human trafficking. Say what? The second definition is to deal. Hence, many statutory references to many outlaw transactions, liquor, drug, human trafficking. Now, wait, I want you all to understand. Legal definition of traffic? This is interesting. I never looked it up. Okay, that's the first one. Let's see if we can find another definition for traffic. Okay, this one talks about black and his law. Man, I met black before. What a black. Anyway, uh, what you doing? I ain't accepting that. Get that junk out of my way. Definition, I'm looking for definition of traffic. Where my definition at? That don't look like no definition. Hold on. Commerce, trade, dealing with merchandise, bills, money, and the like. C. In or Lou Ray, I've never heard of Lou Ray. I've heard of Enri, but Lou Ray Insurance Company, Levine versus State, and C. 
people. Man, I heard of people, but I ain't never heard of no people versus Hamilton. Ladies and gentlemen, I do need you all to understand. Traffic, the legal definition, deals with commerce. That's why it's traveling and commerce. Go and look up Black's Law Dictionary. Anybody pull you over for a traffic infraction? Let me show you what you do. Y'all, y'all, y'all following me? I never looked it up before. To do with pedestrians or vehicles moving on the road by virtue of regulation. Hold on. That's a regulation. Well, regulations are not laws. Look, I have an expired ID. Okay? I let it expire. I didn't return it to nobody. I let it expire because your ID doesn't expire. The contract expires. Your ID doesn't expire. You remain who you are permanently. You are your identification. That's only secondary. Okay? Let's just say this. I've talked to several people who have said that they presented their expired identification to those idiots. Not a expired driver's license. I do ID. I don't, I don't, I can't tell you the complications and technicalities of a expired driver's license, but an expired ID. Yeah, here you go. See, I let my ID and my license expire, but I carry the ID. When I went to Social Security, when they wanted to validate who I was, I handed them an expired ID. Do you know what she said? Huh? I said, oh, no, that's expired. She says, really? I said, yeah, but I I don't expire. My ID can never expire. I will always be me. And didn't say another word to me. Kept taking care of everything, handing me papers and all that stuff. You just got to know what you're talking about. So the legal definition for traffic. So let's do it again. Uh, Let's see. We're going to go to uslegal.com. Yeah, baby. I want that girl so bad. Key sweat. All right. Traffic laws are laws that regulate vehicles and other traffic including pedestrians, animals, and other conveyances. Traffic laws and regulations may vary from place to place. In many countries, the rules of the road are codified. They can't be. Codes are not part of the legislative process. They were not enacted by Congress. That's all you got to say. Somebody bring a code. They are not enacted by Congress. They're not part of the legislative process. There's no evidence on the record that they are. So, nope, we can't consider that bull. I'm sorry. Setting out the legal requirements and punishments for breaking a code. Man, you broke the code. How dare you break the code? In the United States, traffic laws are regulated by the state and municipalities through their respective, respective, respective traffic codes. Most of these are based, at least in part, on uniform vehicle codes but there are variations from state to state. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to understand something because y'all don't get it. Regulations are not law. You don't just say regulations are not law. Say, when did Congress enact that? Yeah, we live in this state, and in this state, there's a legislative process ordained by the Constitution. So when did Congress enact that? And if you have no proof that Congress enacted that, then I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not challenging your authority. What I'm asking is, in order for it to apply to me, there must be a voluntary contract where I was made fully aware that this was not a law and that I elected to waive my rights and be under or subject to that. So when did Congress enact it? And where is proof of such notification? Now, don't argue with the office. Take the ticket and bring that to court and tell them, oh, no. Oh, shut up, you moron. I'm not doing no argument or no sovereign stupid citizen. I'm asking you a legitimate legal question for which you're supposed to have judicial knowledge. So I place you under oath and remind you that you took an oath of office. So I hold you under oath and remind you that you are under oath. Answer my question 
and I place this court on judicial notice regarding a fact that statutes are not law, statutes are not part of the leg legislative process, your code, your regulations, your ordinances are not part of the legislative process, and I'm not bound by them. Now, if I'm supposed to be bound by them, put the evidence on the record. Don't sit up here and tell me that that's somebody else's argument. You must be out of your mind. Just sitting up here saying something just because you said it out of your mouth is supposed to be law. Hey, uh, somebody wants to be on his own, y'all. Y'all y'all remember this guy, right? Give it to me. Give it to me. I wanna be on my own, girl. I wanna wanna be on my own. Girl, girl. girl, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, that's I'll be sure. I have to hear my mind before I'll be sure. Okay. This is the law of the state statute. It's a revised statute. It's not law. It's the same as a code. That's why it's Nevada Revised Statute Annotated. States that a driver shall not permit a person with regards to a motor vehicle being operated. Man, my mama had an operation on a paved highway to ride upon or within any portion of the vehicle that is primarily designed or intended for carrying goods or other cargo or that is otherwise not designed or intended for use of passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are involved in household goods, the transporting of household goods, consumer goods, remember there is no jurisdiction, but you have to do your research. You also have to understand operating a motor vehicle and using your own means of conveyance is not the same thing. It doesn't matter what the courts say. Have them prove it. Have them prove that that so-called statute, which is not law, is binding upon you. Have them prove that that is the law. The way you challenge the law is you rebut it. So you prove, sorry, that's not part of the legislative process. That's all you have to say. That's your rebuttal. You don't have to prove nothing. You just have to, excuse me, that's not part of the legislative process. That statute was not written by Congress. And in this state, the law is only written by Congress. Can you, can you prove to me that that's part of the legislative process? They can't. And they'd be shutting up after that. Okay? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not legal advice. That's just the law. I'm sorry. Everybody's required to know the law, so everybody has the right to give legal advice. So you can give legal advice anytime you want. The act of buying or selling usually illegal goods. That's what trafficking is all about. That's why they say it's a traffic infraction. But we didn't ask for trafficking. We asked for traffic. So all of a sudden, you want me back. <laughs> What's up with that? You got me on hold like a dope on a rope? Nope. Oh, I put the K. There ain't supposed to be no K in traffic. Sorry, I'm thinking about this stupid song. I like this song. Okay, often abbreviated, the vehicles, pedestrians, ships, planes moving along a route. Hold on. Are you telling me that ships and planes can be in traffic? Yeah, it's called uh, air traffic. Y'all never heard of air traffic? You never heard of pedestrian traffic? You never heard of shipping lanes? Okay, so pay attention. But this is a commercial thing. Let's see. Let's let's see where my commerce is. Uh oh, look at that. Information or signals transmitted over a communication. Look at that. Uh com um what do you call it? Uh internet traffic. You heard people say that before, right? So you got pedestrian traffic. Uh let's see. Illegal, disruptive, usually commercial activity. That's why everybody who's in federal prison are there for interfering with commerce. Okay? So y'all got to understand. Now, I'm glad. Now, let me get back to the conversation. Y'all don't mind? All right. The attorney, ladies and gentlemen, who was conducting the hearing, this is If It Isn't Love by my boy's new addition. Ladies and gentlemen, if you 
did not know. The attorney was questioning a peace officer about the definition of traffic, the legal definition. And he asked the peace officer who says he's been on the job for 20 years, did he understand or know the definition, the legal definition of traffic? The peace officer said he didn't know. He said he only knew the code. He says, well, that's not the law. He says, do you know what the legal definition is? And he says, no. So what did you stop my client for? And he talked about registration and license suspension and all that. He says, wait a minute. If you, so you stopped him for a traffic violation, correct? Yes. But you don't know the legal definition of traffic and you've been on the job for 20 years. And he ran it down and questioned him and everything. And the questions he was asking, uh, objection, Your Honor, sustained. Objection, Your Honor. What are you objecting to? I asked a lawful question, and he's required to answer it. This is, he's an expert. He's 20 years experience. And I have the right to question him as an expert. Now, the attorney didn't say that, but that's what I would have said. What are you objecting to? What's wrong with the question? He's a witness. I'm asking him a question concerning his occupation. And yes, he must have knowledge of this because he is the one who said that he was operating under this particular principle. So how can he operate under that principle for 20 years and not know the definition? I have a right, my client has a right, and the public has a right to know. What is he enforcing? Just that simple. But the attorney didn't do that, and I'm, I'm so sorry about that. But the, the attorney did his job. And asking the questions, I know that the attorney and his client lost that case, but the questions were there proving that the officer had no knowledge. So in watching that uh, little short video, it had me, you know what, forget that. So I'm going to create an app that helps individuals put together motions that don't have any of those stupid things that are not law, that only deals with statute at large and the Constitution because they're superior to the statutes, codes, regulations, and ordinances. You love her? What? I'm sorry. That's uh, if it isn't love. You, you just, y'all, y'all, y'all just got to understand. There was a certain niche of the population that listened to New Edition. And the ones who did, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know how unique that group is. Okay? It wasn't about Bobby Brown being, uh, you know, who he was you know, the rebel and everything, because most of these songs are done without Bobby. Okay. But, and I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I loves me some Bobby. Okay. You know, cause we got something in common, but you got to give new addition their credit. Even when Bobby left, that group kept going strong. Okay. They put together some good songs. And when Bev, Bib and the bow got together, one hit after the other hit after the other hit. They didn't even need anybody to advertise for them because their songs just went number one. All right, enough about that. As I said, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I definitely wanted to talk about the traffic. You see the traffic in the background? Okay, I'm not trying to tell you guys to challenge the police or anything like that. No, the police are as corrupt as they could possibly be. I've actually watched police officers stand back and beat people. When I say stand back, other officers stand back and watch it happen as if it's allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, at one point in time, I wanted to be a peace officer. I had the captain of a police department ask me if I wanted to train to be a peace officer. And this is when I was much younger. And I started to accept his offer. But I told him only if I could do it without carrying a gun. He said, oh, no, you must carry a gun. Why? I said, you don't have a gun on you right now, do you? No, but I, I, I have a license for a gun. Okay, well, fine. But why do I need to carry a gun to be a peace officer? Well, because it's mandatory. Really? Why? And he couldn't answer that question. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why do police officers need guns? Well, where is that law that says a police officer must carry a gun? That's It never made sense to me. For a long time in Britain, the police officers didn't carry guns. Do you guys know that? You're aware of that? It wasn't until the 90s, I do believe, that they started carrying guns. Imagine that. A whole country where it's 
police now. Now, I know some of them probably carry guns, but the majority of them didn't. A whole country being policed without guns? Man, that's interesting, ain't it? But then they say, well, you need a gun to protect yourself because a gun, the only way you can fight somebody with a gun is with a gun. Really? That country lasted for quite a long time without all of that. Well, they had guns in the military. Yeah, that's not, we're not, we're talking about the police, mother, I mean, a person. All you ever give me is the blues. Yeah, yeah. Tony, Tony, Tony. Spending all my time. All right, anyway. This is just a, a mix of songs. So they're in my background. So y'all just need to know. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. I just really wanted to tell y'all about the AI system and being able to manipulate it by asking certain questions that it cannot perceive as legal questions. That's why I've been doing the videos lately, because many of you guys want to ask legal questions. Okay, but you know that they program it to give you the answers. They talk about the legal field is so complicated. If the legal field is so complicated and everybody's supposed to know the law, then why is... Speaking about it, legal advice, why is that the excuse they always give? Because you better believe they had an attorney or an, a judge help with the programming of that system. Okay, I'll have information for you guys shortly about where you can go to produce legal documents. And I'm working on an algorithm to do the exact same thing. But that means that eventually I'm going to have to pay for one of those services. That will specifically go into the law the case laws and case codes and all of that junk and pull up information. But that's an algorithm that I'll put together, but I'm not there yet. Sorry. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, let y'all go, but I'll be back uh, some other day. Got to go. I just told y'all I'm working on this all week. So I'm up at three o'clock in the morning, almost full now, been up for the last three hours on just this subject. Okay. Because this is for our home loans and our student loans and our car loans and everybody over at AmeriLegion. This is the stuff we're going to be using to help them. We'll give you guys a heads up on what we're doing and why we're doing it this way, and you'll hear about it soon. Take care of yourselves. We'll be with you shortly. Goodbye.